a poignant video of Paul Cattermole playing a stripped-back version of one of his band's biggest hits has resurfaced in the wake of his death. In the haunting footage, the late S Club 7 singer can be seen wearing a plaid shirt and strumming a guitar as he sings an acoustic, slower-paced rendition of his band's iconic hit single Reach. The clip was shared to social media by the official social media accounts for Richard O'Brien's musical The Rocky Horror Show, which Paul toured with during one production. Sharing the video on Twitter, The Rocky Horror Show captioned the tribute, Today we remember Paul Cattermole, who played the roles of Eddie and Drive. Scott in The Rocky Horror Show between 2015 and 2016. He will always be a part of the Rocky Horror family. In a lengthier statement on Facebook, the musical added, Paul was a treasured cast member and will always remember him as an incredibly humble, kind and gentle man. We're grateful for the memories he gave us on and off the stage. Rest in peace, Paul, you'll always be a part of the Rocky Horror family. Here he is giving us an impromptu version of Reach for the Stars, one night after the show. Phil's death was announced by his family and his band S Club 7 earlier today, with fans and famous friends flooding social media with tributes and sharing their memories of the late star. A statement from the band read, We are truly devastated by the passing of our brother Paul. There are no words to describe the deep sadness and loss we all feel. We were so lucky to have had him in our lives and are thankful for the amazing memories we have. He will be so deeply missed by each and every one of us. We ask that you respect the privacy of his family and of the band at this time. The Never Had a Dream Come True singer's body was discovered in his home on Thursday, one day prior to the news of his death being made public. A statement from his family shared on Friday read, It is with great sadness that we announce the unexpected passing of our beloved son and brother Paul Cattermole. Paul was found yesterday, 6 April 2023 at his home in Dorset and was pronounced dead later that afternoon. While the cause of death is currently unknown, Dorset Police has confirmed that there were no suspicious circumstances. Paul's family, friends and fellow members of S Club request privacy at this time. Paul's tragic passing came just weeks on from S Club 7 announcing their plans to reunite ahead of their 25th anniversary as a band. In a statement issued in February this year, Paul, Bradley McIntosh, Hannah Spirit, Joe O'Meara, John Lee, Rachel Stevens, and Tina Barrett, said, After eight years it feels amazing to announce that we're reuniting and performing together again. We're so excited to bring the S Club party back to our fans across the country to celebrate 25 years of S Club 7. We can't even believe it's been so long. Music and friendship have always been at the core of everything that we've ever done. We hope everyone can join us for one big party. Tickets went on sale later the same month, with more dates added due to demand.